Hey everybody, I am back. I look like Billie Eilish today. It was an iconic moment for me. It was one of those moments like, can I pull this off? Can I wear baggy clothes? I wore an oversized t-shirt and oversized scrubs to Billie Eilish, so here I am today. I kind of tied it up though. I tied up my t-shirt. Here I am. So today, what I'm checking in for is I've been doing eyebrow laminations, but I haven't done one on myself. So guess what we're doing today? We're gonna be doing an eyebrow lamination. I still have my mask on. I don't need a mask when I'm talking to you guys. The pastels, eyebrow lamination, wax and tint process that I'm currently doing. Mine are kind of thin. Check in on my face. I've been slacking this past couple months. It's kind of fuller here, thin. We got some sparse ones down here that I'll probably whack. I just kind of let them grow out. So that's what they look like currently. All right, so I'm currently using, it's the Tua Brow Lamination Kit, Permanent Gel by Tua. Before that, you wanna go in and you wanna cleanse and clean your eyebrows. I currently don't have the foaming cleanser, so I just use my free cleanse for my wax. So you wanna go in and make sure the eyebrows are nice and clean. You don't want any extra oils or anything. So at the first step, you do wanna use the plastic on your eyebrows. So put it to as well. I'm gonna pull out my plastic here. All right, so I got my plastic. Now we're gonna do the permanent gel. <gasps> it came out really fast. I'm going to coat this on the eyebrow itself. We're gonna take the plastic. After you do that, you're gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the coarseness of the hair, sensitivity of the skin, and we're gonna let that sit. Okay, it's been long enough. It is time to take it off. Ooh. We're gonna clean it off. My skin is naturally sensitive too. You can see the redness. You try to keep the product on the hair. Yeah, see how loose that is already? That's awesome. So now we're gonna go in with the neutralizing cream. Same company here. You wanna set it with this stuff here. You wanna get a good amount. We're gonna set how we want them to look with this stuff. All right, so now we're gonna come in here and you can replace it. And then what I'm gonna do is comb it through. Go in with this one as well. And then after that, we're gonna let this sit for another 10 to 15 minutes or so. And we go to the next step. Okay. All right, homies, it is time to take it off. And then this is the time when you would tint, you would wax, dye, you know, it looks pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna take the. So this is the time where we can go in and kind of shape them. We can tint and wax. Now we're making tint. We're coming in here. So this is just a hair tint. You can kind of shape it, it's not henna. So the main thing is we're just gonna make that hair a little bit darker here. So this eyebrow, when I was younger, I got a scar and so it doesn't grow hair in certain places, so it's a little bit thinner. Cousins, you know, they're not twin sisters. Come in here and get all this good hair with dye. My eyebrows, I like to keep them more natural. I'm not doing a really defined shape. And like I said, it's not henna. It is dye that fades off the skin faster compared to different products. Oh, also I like to wipe off in the middle here sooner. It creates a little bit lighter, more natural look. This time you want to wax. I'm just not going to wax off very much. I'm just going to do some cleanup. I'm going to use soft wax on each side. You can also tweeze too. Ow! Just do a nice thin cleanup strip here. And then we take off those I'm just clean off the excess wax here. Now I'm gonna go back in and tweeze these things. After we wax and tint, now we're gonna do the last step, the regenerating cream. We're supposed to leave this on all day. So we're gonna use a softer spoolie brush and kind of comb it through. You can kind of use it and shape how you want to shape your eyebrows. Get a nice comb through. Guys, I did the last step. This is the after. You 
can also take your micro brush here and play with it too. I hope you guys enjoyed my eyebrow lamination. I had a lot of fun with you guys today doing a quick eyebrow lamination on myself. With eyebrow lamination, you want to make sure you use oils too. And it's good to have a take home kit or some spoolies as well because you want to be able to take that oil and brush it in there and kind of shape it every day. So you can kind of brush it up and then pull it over. Get a way to use your natural hair that you currently have and create a fuller look. It's definitely fun, something to try. Definitely crazy before and after. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. You guys have a great week and stay beautiful.